Hello. This week, my article is all about fathers' mental health in the face of neurodiversity. I found a fabulous article that, if you go into what I've written about, I send you a link and encourage you to go over and read this. It is written by a father himself, and he talks about raising children with neurodiversities and how that is often overwhelming, along with the fact it comes with some stigma and actually talks about a retreat that he was speaking at in South Africa. And they actually had a retreat just for fathers of children that have neurodiversities. And he, he said it was just an incredible retreat, an amazing experience. And he talks about that. And he talks about some of the conversations that were had amongst the men and how important it was that they were supporting each other. And they recognized that for many of them, their journey was different than their, their wives in, in just ways that men and women or people in different roles experience things differently. And so it, it's a fabulous article that that gentleman wrote. And then I talk about the fact that from that, it really reminded me to appreciate the people and the leaders that I have had in my life. And so that's what I talk about in this week's article. I talk about appreciating the leaders that have stepped up in your life. As different thinkers, there have been times particularly when we were in school, that it required other people to help us navigate that system, to be cheerleaders for us, to be coaches for us in sporting types of things, to give us opportunities that maybe weren't always right there and readily available. And so I'm just reminding you that it's it's always a perfect time to thank somebody. And I actually give an example of, of what, if you know, how you can write that up and how you can maybe say that to make sure that those people that that have invested in us know that we know that they've made sacrifices, particularly parents. And so um, obviously if your parents are still living or even if they're not, maybe just, you know, thinking it in your head for a minute. Wow. I really appreciate some of the things that they did for me. Some of that time and investment that they put into that. I'm Georgina, international neurodiversity coach. I highly recommend that you check out my articles and learn more about your neurodiversity, how it engages in different facets of your life, and how to just expand your different thinking. Bye now.